www.exclusive.co.uk. Follow us on Twitter. Okay, so um, obviously you're a Kick It Out ambassador. So how important do you think it is for you to be here today? Um, I think it's really important, you know, obviously to show support to the campaign and, um, you know, give off uh, my advice on, on my career. Um, if people want to obviously listen and then uh, ask questions, I think, um, I, you know, I should be able to do that. How do you think today went? Um, yeah, it was fantastic. All the guys that sat down at my table and uh, had a good chat with them. And, you know, I, I think the main thing is for people just to, to believe in themselves, really. Um, you know, I don't have all the answers, but I can tell them a little bit about, you know, what I've done and, and why I did things. And, and if that helps them in, in their journey through life, then, then that's fantastic. Are you proud of the way that Kick It Out has progressed in the last uh, year or two? Yeah, I think so. I mean, it's been fantastic, obviously, campaigns like today and, and bringing so many different people um, all in one place so you can all talk. I mean, there's not many organisations that do that. So, um, you know, I think it's a fantastic idea. And obviously, you're a massive inspiration to a lot of females. How important do you think role models are in attracting women into the industry? Yeah, I think it's massive. I mean, if I look back to when I was a kid, um, who were my role models, it was Ian Wright. You know, I, I couldn't have told you any female um, role models. Um, so I think for myself, uh, you know, to, to, I don't really see myself. I didn't want to look at myself like that. But, you know, I have to admit, yeah, I've been a role model and I've played the game, um, you know, for that long that I, I need to give something back. And if, if that's what it takes for, for young girls to want to play football like me, um, if that helps them, then, then I want to give that back to them. Do you think combating sexism in football is just as important as combating racism? Yeah, I think that you know there's a lot of um, a lot of things that we need to combat in football, but in in everyday life as well. So I think it's important that we um, you know we do a lot of campaigns and we show that you know like today when we're talking about the mentors and the footballers, uh, my name is said in, in the same breath as, as male footballers. So there's there's no there's no difference there, and, and that's fantastic. And we we need to make sure we do that. And you have your own program, your own foundation. How how important is that to you? Um, yeah, it's massive. I mean, when I left Fulham. Um, I was like anybody else. What do I do? What, you know, who do I want to be? Asking myself the same questions. Um, I haven't got a job. What, what am I going to do? So for me, it was about you know finding something that I enjoyed doing, finding something that could give me um, a job, but also pleasure in that. So uh, you know, going and, and working with children into the primary schools was what I wanted to do. Um, you know, through that, it's grown. Um, it's tested me. It's challenged me. I, 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 I never left uh, school with qualifications in, in how to coach kids or, or run a business, but I, I'm doing that now. So if I can do that, then, then anybody can. And ideally, what, what, development, what developments would you like um, to see made over the next year or two? Um, in terms of football, um, I think, uh, you know, for the game to be bigger, for, you know, the national team to do well and, and send a message out to everybody, um, but also in primary schools for us to not just focus on um, I, I, I'm a female so I should only coach females that's that's not how it should be I should be out there um, you know I should be able to coach boys and girls and, and that's where young kids get the role models from that's where you see um, the differences and that's where you you know break down the barriers of, of racism or sexism when when you're coached by different people um, speaking of that how big a precedent do you think it will be for a female to become a Premier League coach, Premier League manager in the next few years? It would be massive. I mean, obviously, um, I think for me, it's not the issue whether you're male or female, it's the issue of whether you're good enough. Yeah. Um, so for me, if there was a good enough female uh, manager out there that, that is willing to take on a job and, and, and obviously given a job in that power then then yeah I don't I don't see any problem just just like you know obviously in the female game I wouldn't have a problem with a, a, ma a man manager or a female manager as long as they're good enough to take on the job um, and do that then there's no problem